art is like uh, the last open, or creativity is probably the last open frontier that will remain open. The rest of it gets boxed in and and shipped out pretty quick, you know. So um, it will always be that way. There's never an end to the imagination. <laughs> but that, that's okay. Uh, I get a little nitpicky sometimes and, and it's uh, steel, uh, I want to say two by fours because they're shaped like two by four piece of wood and that's stuff that they use for uh, framing interior spaces like which was like a framework skeleton looking sculpture and uh, put it on the roof and drew the shadow of it as it was cast between sunset and uh, sunrise and sunset for maybe like, about a week and then the drawing was made with uh, charcoal and, and chalk and clay slip and uh, different types of charcoal there's some powdered charcoal and some made with charcoal and, well I like that whole idea of uh, it's kind of like cubism in that you're like looking at the object from a bunch of different viewpoints. It's interesting to me to see how the shape of the sculpture changes. Uh, the shadow of it defines the shape of it differently. You know, when it's a long shadow, it becomes a very different piece, but it's all, you know, cast from that same sculpture. It's interesting to see how that shape changes in the shadow during the course of the day. I think it, sometimes you don't know what your inspirations are until pretty far after the fact. Um, so that piece was just, it just happened. And I think later uh, I realized it was maybe about the environment, um, a way of doing a drawing that wasn't necessarily a drawing of a landscape, but it dealt with the landscape in that it was a shadow that was moving and, and it was totally subject to clouds overhead and stuff like that. So. For me, somebody who's done a lot of landscape painting in the past, it was nice to work in this way, but still deal with the environment. And of course, the environment's always a big influence. A lot of stuff I do around here is maybe not secretive, but it just it just happens without without an audience necessarily. And I yeah, I think I like that idea. There's a history of, of uh, artists going out into remote landscape and, and doing some pieces, uh, maybe taking a photograph and bringing that back and I like that I don't know uh, but I, I liked it because it takes art out of its usual context of a gallery or a museum and he does a good job it's always a class act hone in on one thing and crank out a bunch of different things and they'll all be related to one another I don't know they're all I don't know definitely from the same fruit-bearing tree, you know, but they're all different fruits on them. Very strange plant, that's what Tom is. <laughs> I like Andy's ideas, I like his art. And, and I also get closed-minded in terms of my materials, and Andy's helped me just uh, 
you know, look at everything as a, as a possible material for your work. Um, it doesn't have to be bronze, it doesn't have to be marble, you know, I mean, you have these set ideas of what artist materials are, expensive, fine, highly refined, you know, uh, materials, and, and it's, it's been real cool because Andy just looks around where he's at and combines things and, and uh, you know, makes his art out of that, and, and, it's, and it's helped me realize, you know, I don't. I don't need to do exactly what I've seen in the history books. You, know, you, you can you can take a look at what's around and, and just deal with. It. Why would I want to go and spend money on something when there's tons of really neat stuff? You know, waiting, and I don't have to. Those, those things inspire me to make a work, or, and I don't even know what it is. I listen to a lot of junk. It is cheap, and I'm not making any money from art, so I, the, what I can put into it is just as great or small. So, um, I don't know, not every piece of trash on the side of the road is deemed worthy, and I throw it in the car and bring it home with me. It's, uh, I don't know, certain things, it's the shape, it's what it's used for, maybe. And a lot of, I've ended up with a lot of bed things or table things, but I wasn't conscious. I guess maybe they're big. I don't know. It's uh, ecologically sound as well. You, you don't end up filling up the landfills, you fill up your walls. And I think my job is to go around and collect trash, I guess, and uh, make art out of it. The studio, the space, this area itself has influenced me a lot. Uh, just the, the way stuff looks around here. We got in here for next to no money and, and no lease. Just were able to come in here and fix it up. And uh, over time, it's just become um, kind of a little bit cooler all the time. And, and there's been a lot of artists who've, who've come through too. That's what, what's kind of neat. I need to make a list and, time and, and get them all. But. Um, um, sometimes it reminds me of, you know, what, what I'm not good at or what I don't enjoy or what I wouldn't do. It, and it's a good hodgepodge. It's real random. We've got a different age groups, you know, different, uh, even people of the same age group with opposite work. And it's, it's good. It's, uh, I mean, it would be really boring if it was a room full of people just like me. Um, so I, I'm glad that, you know, I'm who I am in the group that we're in. Uh, we all play a, a, a part, and it's not closed. Anybody could come in, and, and as long as they're open like that, they can fall right in. And... I'm still kind of determining my, my big stance on art. I, I, I think I'm trying to take an open approach to it. In the, in the past, when I did a lot of painting, I thought art was all about painting, and, and, um, and so I didn't pay much attention to sculpture. Now that I do a lot of sculpture, I realize I was being very close-minded before, so it's hard for me at this point to say uh, what's art and what's not, because everybody's perception of that should change, I think, from time to time, just as you experience different, different things. That's all I've ever been inspired to do. Everything else is, I become quickly bored. I don't know, it doesn't seem like that big a deal. It seems perfectly normal to me. It would be fine by me to wake up in the morning and do art all day long. It's a open doorway where anything can happen. A way of maybe shining a little light on something that wouldn't 
necessarily come to light. Maybe a way of elevating uh, something that might be ordinary uh, to a different status. Making somebody uh, maybe look at something differently. It could be anything. Like maybe there'd be an object in a painting that I really like. So I'd make a sculpture of that object and gradually it gets more abstract until you can't remember what it was in the first place. And then it kind of takes on a life of its own. And then, then you break up that object into two or three parts and start you know, reproducing those parts and adding them on to each other. And it's like uh, it builds and builds and, and sort of fragments into a bunch of different ideas. what gets people going and, and uh, it's just hard to put a finger on you know I'm, I can't explain it There's that that big shape that all these you know there's three four pieces going all the same shape all based off another sculpture and, and uh, yeah, it's, maybe it's just like trying to pin down that shape get the essence of it and the more you try and pin it down the more you realize you're gonna have to do this over and over and, and it's like what started off as, as something that seemed like it was going to be kind of simple has just snowballed into a bunch of different ideas and for whatever reason I just feel like I have to see them to their completion uh, to, I don't know, uh, to get some sleep at night. It's completely open and uh, I don't know, I'll never run out of things to find and put together and paint and cover with plaster and chip away and back down to where I was and it, I never run out of things like that. People are always throwing things away and I'll always be making something. I may not always use the same materials but it'll transform into something else and I don't know it's it's looking less like art and more like some kind of bizarre interior decorating you know. So it, it changes, uh, you know, from having a painting degree, doing printmaking, to it's coming off the wall onto the floor and onto the ceiling, and it's uh, it's becoming an environment which really is to me what art is is everything, the environment, the big picture. That's what art is. It's uh, any and everything. I don't feel like I'm playing the same game that everyone else is.